Hi, I'm Kate Dalby of Inspiring Test Preparation. This year, 2017, uh, TJ administered the following question for the SIS math question. It seems like TJ is going over to a math question and uh, in addition to the SIS questions that they're asking. This year's was interesting. Um, we have a thousand penguins, 500 pairs that produce one chick per year, per pair. There's a 20% loss per year of the whole population. What will the population be in seven years? And the student is supposed to develop a formula. So it isn't just a matter of saying, well, the first year it's gonna be X and the second year it's gonna be X plus something and then the third year X plus something plus something. You actually have to come up with a formula that will express what it will be in seven years. So first you need to understand what exactly the components of your calculation are going to be. You've got your initial population of a thousand penguins and they produce 500 chicks because they're paired. And so at the end of the year, you're going to have 1,500 chicks, but you also have a loss of chicks. Now the loss of chicks can be expressed as 20% of 1,500, which is 300, which will get you 1,200. But that's extra calculation. It is faster, more direct to, instead of saying 20% loss, say a retention of 80%. So if you take 80%, um, which would be 0 0.8, 80% 80 is 8 tenths or 0.8, okay? If you take 80% of 1,500, you get 1,200 chicks. So rather than say add 50% here and, add, and uh, take 80%, and if you're, by the way, if you're, if you're adding 50%, you're actually taking 1,000 and you're multiplying 1,000 by 150%, which would 150% is written as 1.5. So we've got 1,000 times 1.5, that's where we get the 1,500. Well, if you take, 150% and you multiply that by 8%, you get 1.2%, which is what your increase, your net increase from 1,000 to 1,200 is a 120% increase. So all we have to do to get the population at the end of one year is say 1,000 times 1.2 gets us 1,200. Okay, so we, we've got that down. We know how to get one year. What about the second year? Well, most kids are able to say, well, if I have 1,200 and I increase by, if I increase by 50%, so I have 150% more from 1,200, well, 50% of 1,200 is 600. That brings us up to 1,800. Now, if we then have an 8%, uh, a 20% loss, so we retain 80%, we will get what turns out to be 1440, uh, four, 1,440 penguins at the end of two years, okay? So could we have gotten that more quickly? Yeah, if we had taken 1,200, and we had multiplied it by 1.2, we would have gotten 1440, okay? Now, remember, if 1200 is the same as this, okay, we could just rewrite this as 1000 times 1.2 times 1.2 is 1400. Now, going back, to our method of calculation where we now have 1440 and we increase it by uh, 50 percent so that's 720 so we get 2160 okay well remember 1440 times 
will get us 2160. Then what we need to do is take 80% of that to get the population at the end of three years. So we have 48 and 8, 12 and 16, 17. So we have, we have 1,728. That's what we get at the end of the third year. Now, remember what we were just doing is we were taking 1440. 1440 and multiplying that by 1.2 and we will get 1728 and remember 1440 can also be written as 1000 times 1.2 times 1.2 so now we can see there's a pattern emerging if we have x times x that's x squared if we have x times x times x that's x cubed. So if we have 1.2 times 1.2 times 1.2, that can be rewritten as 1.2 to the third power times 1,000 gets us the population after three years. So our formula, we can see we've developed a formula that says 1,000 penguins times a net increase of 120% written as 1.2, remember 120% reduces down to 12 over, 12 over 10 or 1.2, okay? So we have 1,000 penguins times 1.2 to the seventh power will get us the population at the end of seven years. And I'll leave it to you to figure out that amount and to verify that the formula is correct. So I thank you for your attention, and if you'd like more information, visit inspiringtestprep.com on the internet. Thank you.